How does China plan for the future? Two sessions, an important event on China's political calendar, has returned to its customary March timetable, the draft outline of the 14th five-year plan, 2021 to 2025, for national economic and social development and the long-range objectives through the year 2035, has been submitted to the national legislature for review and is under global spotlight. China should ground its efforts in the new development stage, apply the new development philosophy, and create a new pattern of development while pursuing high-quality development during the 14th five-year plan period. The draft maps out goals, targets, and strategies across numerous areas, from pursuing innovation-driven development to pursuing the Digital China Initiative, from raising the income of the low-income group to expanding the size of the middle-income group, from prioritizing the development of agriculture and rural areas to achieving higher quality urbanization, from implementing the Employment First Strategy to implementing the National Strategy for Addressing Population Aging, to gather opinions and advice for the 14th Five-Year Plan, President Xi Jinping went on several inspection tours and held seven symposiums with people from all walks of life. Public opinion was also sought online. More than one million suggestions were gathered, making mid- and long-term plans that guide economic and social development are crucial to how the CPC governs a country and responds to developing situations and challenges. Its formulation combines extensive consultation and cooperative decision-making, demonstrating how socialist democracy with Chinese characteristics works. Between 1953 and 2020, China formulated and implemented 13 five-year plans, eight of which were created after the country began to reform and open up. These plans have played an important role in promoting China's social and economic development, improving China's comprehensive national strength, and boosting living standards, thus demonstrating the advantages and vitality of socialism with Chinese characteristics. The remarkable achievements of the 13th Five-Year Plan period fulfilled the public's expectations. The period covered by the 14th Five-Year Plan will be the first five years in which China embarks on a new journey of fully building a modern socialist country and forges ahead towards a second centenary goal. The outline aims to clarify national strategic purposes, identify major tasks for the government, and regulate the behavior of market entities. Heralded as a blueprint for China, as it starts a new journey and an action plan to unite all Chinese people, the outline will guide the world's second largest economy to brave the wind and waves to sail forward.